From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top story said vaccination is the quickest way to end the coronavirus emergency. We're facing a setback. Dr. Marceline Del Regis, the chair of the vaccine committee, confirming that there is a supply shortage, forcing them to give only second shots for now. That is going to last until July 26, when more vaccine is expected to be in country. Second doses by appointment only at Loyola Hall for now. No walk-ups. Dr. Del Regis says they're not overly concerned about the situation. They are concerned about the number of persons in hospital, though. 68 at last count. They want to find out if any of them are fully vaccinated. Tragedy on the streets of the capital yesterday left a man dead and a man and woman in hospital. It happened on the Charles Saunders Highway, a collision between a Jeep with three persons in it and a Mack truck. The preliminary investigations reveal that the RAV4 was traveling east along Charles W. Saunders when it collided into the Mack truck that was stationary at the time. Nantes Police Spokesman ASP Audley Peterson wake of that incident. Police again urging drivers to use caution on the streets. Another murder investigation for police. A gunman walked up to a house in the Elizabeth Estates area yesterday, shot a man who was standing outside that house. Police in the early stages of their investigation, they say the victim appears to be in his mid-twenties. There's nothing to indicate that this was gang-related. This is the sixth murder in the past week alone. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. As expected, the Free National Movement has filled its ticket for the next general elections. Prime Minister Minister for Kalani, Deputy Prime Minister Bannister for Carmichael, John Pinder for Fox Hill, and Welburn Boodle for Pine Ridge get the last spots. They've been approved by party officials. Speculation continues on an early election, but Prime Minister Minister remains mum on the date. Confirmation now from former PLP Cabinet Minister Leslie Miller. He will not run as an independent candidate in the next elections. Precious Moxie Miller, the customs broker facing more than $2 million worth of fraud charges, has been granted bail. Environment Minister Ferreira announcing that the oil drilling licenses held by the Bahamas Petroleum Company have expired. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No major systems in the area. Partly sunny and breezy again today. Passing showers are likely. Highs in the upper 80s. 88 at Freeport, 87 in the capital, 87 at Matthew Town. Caution flags up for boaters. Winds getting up to 20 knots. The sea's up to 6 feet over open waters. Low tide now. The next higher on 1 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We're now in the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to check your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines, weather continues to make news in Europe. Major rainfall creating flash flooding in Germany and Belgium. Close to 100 persons confirmed dead and 1,000 are missing. Those wildfires continue to burn pretty much out of control in the western U.S. and Canada. About 70 of them at last count. The intense heat in the area continues also. France says it has no plans to intervene in the situation in Haiti. U.S. President Biden says they will protect the U.S. Embassy there, but they will not send any troops in. The United Nations continues to monitor that situation. Tribune's gas tracker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 509, SO 507, Rubus $5.01 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section Countdown to the Olympics. The Tribune's profile featuring 
Antoinette Strawn today. The games begin July 23rd. The Tribune Sports has a preview. They have some COVID-related issues popping up in Tokyo. Read about that in the Tribune Sports. Major League Baseball ending the All-Star break. Teams go back to work today. Jazz on the Marlins in Philadelphia. Read Michael Thompson's take on DeAndre Ayton as the NBA Finals return to Phoenix for Game 5. And the Tribune Sports will have the latest on the British Open Golf Tournament underway in England. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning, Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.